Hey guys, alright, so I've had some questions on doing Grindelworms, which we've got another Grindelworm culture right here. This is just a small one. Um, it's a soil culture. We've got our needle point in here. and You can see they kind of crawl up on the needle point. Um, that's how you get them into the tank. So this is what you're going to see when you're looking to use the lighting. So that's what you're going to get when you get your cultures is or get them going they're gonna be all over and this one needs fed so what we're gonna do is I've had some questions on going from a soil culture to this is one of the ones that I feed in my fish room um, this is one of the scrubber cultures so we've got our needle point and you can see that's actually just super covered and that's how we do it is just dog food and then some of the scrubbers these things are crawling the sides. It's a pretty booming culture. So I'll show you how to set one of these up from your soil culture if you want to switch them over or do both. Um, I actually prefer the scrubber over the soils at times. Um, it's a little bit less of a mess. Um, there have been people who have said that they get mites in their soil. You can't get mites in the scrubber. Um, so kind of see what we're doing here. But the the scrubber pad doesn't smell quite as bad as the the soil, but the soil is a lot easier to get going. So that's why we've recommended in the past for people to start with soil is because it is easier for the grindworm cultures to get going in. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from here uh, into this little culture here or start a fresh one with the scrubber pads. So these are just great value Walmart brand, um, just your little scour pads. I think they're like two bucks for four. Um, and then I have a pretty good load of um, worms right here so we're gonna take these but normally what you'll do is you'll take what I did downstairs before I came up is I took one of my um, cultures here and I just rinsed it through like I'll fill this up with water to about here and then I'll rinse that um, the needle point kind of put it down in the water and swish it around and that'll knock all the worms and stuff off and then you can go and rinse them off and transfer them over to your um, scrubber pad culture. So that's what I did. I went and rinsed some of those. So this has been rinsed a few times. I'll fill it up. The worms will sink down to the bottom. Everything else kind of floats and you just dump it off and top it off with water and then let it settle and then dump it off. Just keep doing it over and over. Um, and then you'll get like just loads of worms in there that you can use. So, all right, let's get started lid this one set it aside so what we're going to start with is um, our little container here it's just a tiny one I went and drilled some holes in the lid so we have our air vents and then we're going to use this as just um, pillow batting I get it at um, Hobby Lobby but you can get it at Walmart or wherever so it's just like the uh, filter floss or pillow batting whatever you want to use it's all kind of the same thing. And I just kind of roll it up to make it kind of tight. And then we'll feed it through the hole here. Just enough to fill that in so you don't get like bugs and stuff trying to get in there with your worms. Snip it. That's about it. So that's how we do our lid. All right, now we'll get to our scrubber pad. When you rinse your worms, make sure you're using dechlorinated water. Um, I didn't think I needed to say it, but you never know. So some people may try to use, so this is gonna be too big, so we're gonna cut these down. And I'm just gonna use two since this is um, a small culture. Like the big ones, I'll use like four or five. And I miss these with a spray bottle too when I um, refeed. So we'll just fit it in like that and then it'll be a little room on the sides. You can fit it so that it fits a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. So that's kind of how we're going to start. Too deep. All right, and then we'll put some of our food down. Just kind of lay it all over the place. That way the culture goes everywhere. 
This is just regular dog food. I think it's like kibbles and bits or something. But they like it. If you guys have questions, make sure to ask too. We've been getting a lot of really good questions as far as like um, the different cultures people want to set up or how to change it from soil to um, the scrubber pad. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to suck some of these up and then we'll just spray it right on top. And that water is going to go down through the dog ones out. Um, the water is going to go down through the bottom and it's okay to have water in the bottom of this because it'll keep your mo your culture moist enough. Um, and then when you go and refeed, just take your spray bottle and just mist it. So this will sit and it will kind of pool on top for a while and you can see how many worms are there. There's a lot. They're kind of just slushing all over the place. So, But they'll eventually take over this whole thing and it'll be pretty crazy. So that's pretty much it. And then I'll take my needle point. I forgot to bring some up and I'll just cut it so that it sits right flat on top because then the worms will crawl through it like they have this larger one. I'm going to cap this. So this larger one here, cut the needle point down. And needle point, you can get it at, um, I've had a lot of questions on that too, what's the white stuff? Um, it's needle point, they use it in like um, crafts and stuff for like fabric or yarn. So, but you can see that this thing is just loaded. And I'll just take this over to the fish tanks too and I'll just dip it in, because it's clean, because it comes from, I mean, it doesn't hurt the fish to eat some dog food. Um, if there's any left on here, but um, these worms don't have any soil on them or anything, so I'll just go into the fish tank and and uh, the fish will kill it. So if you guys have questions, make sure to, to ask. Um, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate those. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, if there's other videos you guys want to see, make sure you shoot us a message or email. Um, check out the website, gillsandfins.us. That's because we're a U.S.-based site. Um, again, gillsandfins.us. Um, we do sell the Grindle worms there on eBay and on Amazon. Um, our website would be the best deal. Uh, Amazon charges huge seller fees, so that's why they do cost more on Amazon. Because um, we have to kind of compensate that way we're making the same amount on them. So, um, But if you guys have questions, make sure to ask, please. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.